What's going on guys? It's Omniarch and today I'm bringing you another video talking about Pokemon Go. It's actually open on my phone right now and I'm currently playing it as we speak. So if there's any Pokemon that come up and I get distracted, you will know why. Just kidding. The fucking servers are down. So holy crap i made my last video as soon as i saw the article for the the girl that found the dead body uh and i only talked about uh, pokemon go for a little bit but i actually want to have a discussion about this game right now because this thing is insane if you guys don't follow me on instagram you might not know that i actually live in the city of albany which is a city in the state of new york uh and this game has taken over it seems like every one in like four people that I see walking on the sidewalk or in the mall or anywhere is playing this game and it seems like everybody under the age of 25 is playing this game I mean it's absolutely insane I've never seen uh, an app that was this widespread as soon as it launched I'm not kidding I had to be to work at 9 a.m. this morning and I take the bus from where I live to the mall where I work uh, and on the way I was playing Pokemon Go obviously I'm passing Pokestops I'm catching Pokemon all is going well I've I caught a bunch of Pokemon on the way to work the servers were working fine uh, probably because it was pretty early in the morning I was on the bus I was on the bus at like 8 in the morning um, and I'm, I'm on the East Coast so I'm assuming that's you know a lot of people aren't awake yet um, so anyway I'm on the bus and I'm playing Pokemon Go catching Pokemon doing my thing and I get to the mall and I walk in now mind you the mall is not open yet okay it's about 8 30 in the morning the mall doesn't open till 10 in the morning um but i go upstairs to the food court and i'm i'm walking around and i notice that there's a pokey stop in the mall uh, so i'm walking over there and as i'm walking over there i see one girl that was on the bus with me I saw her, she walked in front of me, I could tell she was playing Pokemon Go as well, I saw it on her phone, uh, there were like two different people who were waiting for the store that they work in to open, and they were sitting on benches near the Pokestop, also playing Pokemon Go, and I, my mind was blown. Of course, when I got out of work and I walked around the mall and everybody was there, the mall was open at that time, I saw kids, people were saying, oh dad, I just caught a, a Rata or something like that, uh, and there was just people everywhere, and I could tell, you could tell uh, the way that they're holding their phone, the way that they're looking at it, you know, you can tell that with the little flick, you can tell they're throwing the Pokeball, it's just completely insane, uh, and I can't believe how many people are actually playing this, like, like, I knew this would be popular, right? I knew the game would be popular. Pokemon's a massive franchise, but I didn't know that literally everybody is playing this game right now. So after I get home, you know, I take the bus ride back, manage to catch a war turtle, which was crazy because I don't even have a Squirtle yet. I get home, I make lunch, and I decide, you know what? I'm gonna go for a walk. I'm gonna go down the street. I saw a couple of Pokestops right nearby. I'm gonna go there, just walk around, and get a couple of Pokeballs, potions, everything, you know, collect different items and catch different Pokemon. Now, mind you, I understand, you know, if you go to the mall, you're gonna see a ton of people playing a popular app that that makes sense right but I'm walking down the street and of course I you know like I said this is a city there are lots of people there's storefronts and houses and things like that so it's not like I live in the middle of nowhere but walking down the street I could tell there were people that were standing hovering around areas that were poke stops and it just seemed like every third or fourth person was looking at their phone and playing this game and I think that's completely insane uh, like you just have I had no idea that this many people would be that interested in this game, uh, and it this is it's like a virus, it's like a drug. Like it, literally, everybody is playing it, everybody is addicted to it, uh, and nobody is safe from getting infected and getting addicted to this game. So if you don't have Pokemon Go yet, uh, I highly suggest you get it. Uh, I mean, it's just it's the game. Okay, let's let's talk about the actual gameplay for a second because I think there's a lot of things that have that are left to be desired. Now, I'm pretty sure that this is only a beta and and there's plenty of reasons why I think that. One, it seems like, like there's a lack of a uh, graphical interface. There's just almost no customization of your character. Um there's only a handful of Pokémon that you can currently find. The trade system isn't implemented yet and the server issues are super super bad. I will say that the servers have actually been doing a lot better today than they were the past few days so there's obviously some progress being made but as you can tell they are still down for me right now as a side note I found that if you close the app and then potentially uh, shut your phone off and turn it back on uh, you you can potentially get back onto the app but it's still going to be a little bit glitchy you know you might be able to see your character and see the map and everything and view your Pokemon but then you won't actually get into any encounters uh, so they're being their work is being done and if you want you can try to shut your phone off turn it back on 
uh, and give that a go. It's worked for me a couple of times, so hopefully it'll work for you. But like I said, there's tons of features here that I really think the game is missing out on, and I think that's why it's still a beta. Also, if you go to the options menu on, or the settings menu in the Pokemon Go app, I think it's in the bottom right corner that it says uh, point or 0 0.29 or 0.2.9 or something like that so I don't even think this is a full uh, release I'm pretty sure this is just like a you know a beta version um, this isn't even version 1.0 yet so that's obviously why there's so many features lacking and that's why the functionality of the app really isn't fully there yet but I'm so excited for what this game has to bring I mean I, this, okay, it gets a little bit repetitive, you know, grinding Rattas and grinding Pidgeys and, and Caterpies and Weedles and things like that, and I understand that, but I think there's only like 134 Pokemon in the game right now, so I think that probably excludes maybe the three legendary birds, Mew, Mewtwo, uh, maybe Dragonite or Snorlax, oh no, I think Snorlax is in there, I don't know. It, it's probably the original 150 minus a, a select few, but imagine this game when when they add the second generation or the third generation or the fourth, I mean they have hundreds and hundreds of Pokemon that they can release, so this game has like such an, an amazing longevity behind it, you know, you know, there's there's gonna be so many more Pokemon that can be released and think of all the event possibilities I mean you know if you can only catch Mewtwo in certain areas in the world you know maybe for a Christmas event or maybe for uh, some other event maybe you can find it in your local town you know there's just so much that they can do with this and I really really hope that they nail this thing on the head and they really you know push forward with really amazing improvements another thing is all the customization of your character I think that's gonna be a huge thing uh, when you know the the uh, official or you know later down the line when there's newer versions of the app I think that's gonna be a massive feature like I said you get a little bit of customization when you first start the game but I think there's gonna be a new like there's gonna be more clothes more shirts and pants and hairstyles and hats and things along those lines that are gonna make everybody uh, you know where your, your character can actually be unique to you and look like you and I think that's super super cool and I can't wait for that to happen one thing I will say is I think that the items in the store are a little bit pricey uh, you know if you actually purchase coins I think a hundred coins uh, is 99 cents on the iOS store um, and 100 coins will buy you 20 pokeballs which is completely ridiculous I mean you get 15 pokeballs just for leveling up uh, and if you go to pokestops sometimes you can get two three four pokeballs just for going to a pokestop and those refresh every 15 minutes uh, so it doesn't make any sense to spend a dollar on 20 pokeballs uh, when you can go sit at a pokestop for you know you can go there and then sit there for 15 minutes and you'll get almost 10 of them uh, just from walking you know down the block maybe people in more rural areas don't have pokestops around and they you know lack the pokeballs to catch uh, and grind the amount that they want to and in that case I feel like they kind of get screwed over because uh, you know a dollar for 20 pokeballs is a lot and 20 pokeballs won't get you much also a uh, hundred coins which again like I said is 99 cents will get you one incense or one lure thing that you can plug into the pokestops uh, and again that just seems way too overpriced I mean if you buy an incense which by the way don't use any yet because I've used them and the whole 30 minutes would go by without a single Pokemon showing up so there, there's glitches there but there's bugs you will lose the item uh, so just wait until the servers are completely stable before you waste these really really valuable items but like I said a dollar for one incense well, all an incense Incent does is swarm Pokemon towards you for 30 minutes uh, so you're basically paying a dollar to sit in your bed and have Weedles and Pidgeys attack you uh, I, that just seems completely ridiculous I think they really have to revamp the microtransactions I don't mind spending money on this game uh, but a I'm not gonna do it when the servers go down every hour or every two hours and B I'm not gonna do it when it's super expensive to buy items that really aren't that useful one of the egg incubators in this uh, that you can buy is you know you can hatch three separate eggs before it breaks and it's 150 coins so it's a dollar fifty basically uh, to hatch three eggs and I think that's stupid I'd rather pay like 500 coins for an incubator that won't ever break uh, that would incentivize me to spend even more money you know that I'm spending five dollars instead of one dollar uh, and I actually feel like I'm getting value there because if I'm buying an item that breaks after three uses I'm not gonna spend a hundred or uh, I'm not gonna spend a dollar fifty on something like that that just doesn't make any sense to me so again like I said the, the servers definitely are, are improving but they do need a lot of work and I think they obviously are working on them because this game is so incredibly popular like I said literally everybody is playing it 
it and I, my mind is is so blown like this this has completely taken over and i also think they need to revamp the microtransactions and things along those lines but this game going forward has so much potential uh like i said this game has the potential to have an endless lifespan you know you could play this game all the time if they're regularly updating it adding in new pokemon adding in the trade feature adding in new customization and items uh, and just different ways for people to communicate in your town you know in your local area uh, there's just so much that uh, they can do with this game and I'm really really excited uh, the, the game itself when the servers are up and when everything is running smoothly uh, the game is addicting I find myself wanting to go for walks I want to go down the block I want to visit Pokestops and grind I even I even want to grind I even want to catch 50 Rattas so I can trade them in for candies and power up my Raticate or whatever uh, and, and I want to get you know grind and get stronger Pokemon and take over the local gyms uh, and just completely dominate the, the local area so you know the game has a lot of replay value uh, I think it can be played for months and months if not years so long as they regularly update it and, and keep the server stable uh, and like I said there's just there's it's such an addictive game and you can tell because everybody walking around is playing it right now and I just really hope they fix the server soon so that way people don't lose interest like OMG I can't play Pokemon Go the servers are down every time I try to play fuck this game I'm uninstalling one last thing I want to talk about is how they're gonna handle the legendaries I'm not entirely sure how they're going to do this and I'm not going to you know even speculate um, like you know in the release trailer or the unveiling trailer you obviously saw a bunch of people chasing a Mewtwo and you know when the game actually comes out we find out that's not actually what the game looks like uh, so I don't know if there's gonna be like you know you can only catch Mewtwo in Manhattan in a certain spot uh, and then people who live there are just really lucky or if they're going to do it in some sort of event where if you're playing at midnight or if you're playing at a certain time and you're at a certain spot or, or if you you know I guess midnight's probably not a good idea because then people will be walking around in, in like in the middle of the night and get stabbed and robbing shit but anyway um, I don't know how the legendaries are gonna work and I think that's really weird you know obviously traveling the world to catch them all is a great concept but it's on realistic uh, and I think people aren't going to want to keep playing if all they're going to catch is Weedles and Caterpies and Rattas uh, and they want to get the they want to get the badass Pokemon they want to get the legendaries so what do you guys think how are they going to implement the legendaries do you think it's going to be you know maybe in one location and then they that person can trade it uh, you know in a in a in a feature that is to to be uh, coming soon you know uh, obviously they did announce a trade feature it just isn't implemented in implemented yet so maybe you know one one location will have a Moltres and you can trade it across the country for someone who has a Zapdos maybe that's how you'll be able to catch them all so to speak in that way um, but yeah I just don't know how the legendaries are going to work I think that's really uh, something that they have to nail down and make it uh, you know where you have to where they're not common and all over the place uh, but where you actually can potentially get them without flying across the world to you know go to Japan to get a Mew that would just be absolutely insane one final thing I want to talk about is cheating now I don't think at this moment, uh, at the time of recording this, that there are any cheats available, but I can guarantee you that there are people working on them, and I hope uh, that Niantic and Nintendo will take this very, very seriously because I can see how cheating will absolutely destroy this game. I know that there is a program on a computer called BlueStacks, which is a Android emulator, and you can actually connect it. To, you know, you can you can have an Android phone basically on your computer, uh, and thus you can download Pokemon Go and play it from your laptop or your desktop. And I think if somebody is able to, you know, download the game, I actually wasn't able to get Pokemon to go to run on my computer, uh, but I'm, I'm assuming that's because it's still in beta and maybe it's just not working. But I can imagine a future where somebody downloads Pokemon Go on their computer uh, and then, you know, somehow has a program that just changes their location of their computer. Uh, so that way Pokemon Go is confused and thinks you're somewhere that you're not. Uh, in this case, that would obviously be cheating. You, you could just set your location to Area 51 and, and capture. Mewtwo or something like that you know uh, so I think that they really really have to you know get a grip on this before it becomes a problem uh, like I said I don't know of any cheats currently but I do think that there are probably people working right now I bet you there are people working right now uh, on some sort of cheat or jailbreak or hack for this thing um, but like I said I don't know of any 
right now so if you see anybody linking you or sending you links on Twitter or on Instagram or something don't click them they're probably viruses uh, so you know unless and, and, and even if they are real uh, I can almost guarantee you you will get banned at some point so again that goes without saying for any uh, app game or any game in general just don't cheat obviously uh, but there are going to be people who are trying to cheat um, and I just really hope that they can you know handle that situation before it even becomes a problem one last thing that I want to talk about and if you guys are still here then I know you're the real MVPs and you actually really care about uh, what I have to say and this game in general one thing that I need to figure out and I'm not sure how this is gonna work but I feel like people who started this game early will always have an advantage so long as they continue playing and by that I mean you know uh, I walk down the street right and there's a gym and I go and I click on it and I can see that the top person has a 500 plus CP Pokemon uh, and I am almost there my top Pokemon is like 470 at this point uh, but I know that I can't beat them right so obviously they've been playing more than me and maybe they got it a day before me or something uh, but I can't imagine you know maybe somebody gets this game a month from now right uh, and all their local gyms have uh, you know Pokemon with uh, over a thousand CP uh, and to defeat that uh, gym leader you're going to have to train for a month in order to just get up to their level but by that point that trainer will also have been playing uh in that time so i feel like they're going to have to figure out a way to level uh you know either level cap or um you know make it so that way you know to in order to take over a gym maybe uh you know the levels are scaled down to your level or something but then that's not really fair to the person who's put in a lot of time and effort and potentially money uh so i'm not actually sure how that's gonna work but that's definitely something that uh, needs to be figured out if they have already talked about this let me know in the comment section below because i'm actually really concerned um you know you know there's obviously going to be some people who really grind this game out and really take it like super super seriously uh and if that's the case then it's going to be really unfair for everybody else who will never be able to uh you know be the gym leader or be part of a gym or something along those lines uh so yeah i just wanted to you know run that guy's by you run that guy's by you you know what do you think you know if two months from now somebody wants to get the game how are they going to catch up you know they're not going to be able to ever catch up how do you think the niantic and nintendo are going to combat this issue uh if you have any ideas or if they've talked about it like i said drop a comment down below also if you've made it this far you're the real homie make sure you let me know in the comment section below which team did you pick if you're level five me i'm team yellow uh it seems to be that there are team red and team blue all over the city that i live in uh and really not many team yellows i've seen some but not not, not many um, but I picked yellow because one Zapdos is the coolest of the three legendary birds in my opinion and two because yellow was the first Pokemon game that I actually owned as a child so yeah team yellow it is for me let me know in the comment section below which team you're on and I would love to hear any other thoughts that you have about Pokemon go are you loving it I hope you are and if you've made it this far I, I would I'd be willing to bet that you're really liking the game because uh, you just watched me talk for like 20 minutes about this and anyway hopefully you guys enjoyed the video if you did make sure you drop a thumbs up that really 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 helps me out and I really do appreciate it when you guys drop a thumbs up on my videos um, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one and that's pretty much it guys so thanks so much for watching this has been Omniarch and I will talk to you guys later peace are these servers up yet